Hi, my name is Serena Landmann. I currently teach at Lenena Primary School in the south of Johannesburg. I am teaching grade four mathematics. Morning, guys. Good. Okay, today we're going to look at geometric patterns. The lesson that I handled with the learners today was about geometric patterns. Now, it's important that the learners know that when they're dealing with geometric patterns, that the pattern is growing. The definition states that geometric patterns are sequences of numbers with patterns that are based on addition or multiplication. Please read out that definition for me. Good. Now, we're going to look at the first one here. We need to explain this geometric pattern. Now, firstly, tell me what shapes do you see here? Circles. It's circles, lovely. Now I need to look. All of you we can work together. All of you can work together with me now. The first one, I've got how many shapes here? Three. Now I need to see. From three, let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So in step one, I've got three. Okay, then I'm going to step two. Step two, we added three, three so that gives me six, six in total here. When I go and I look now at step three here, how many circles do I have? Let's count. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I've got nine. And then I have a look here at my step five. And how many circles? I can actually count in threes now. Because can you see, the reoccurring pattern, what are we adding every time is? Three. Yes. So we can count it. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Good. Well, my methods in class is using practical examples. In the lesson, we, the learners built various shapes for me. They used matchsticks to build triangles and also building blocks to build different shapes for me. So through organizing my geometric pattern, I place it in a table, okay? I know now that my rule is multiplying by three. three, okay? I can say multiplying by three because in my 10th step, I'm going to say 10 multiplied by three is going to be 30. 30. Lovely. Now I want you to go and you build step five, six, and seven. I'm not telling you what how many matchsticks do you need for step 5, 6, and 10? I need you to figure that one out for me. Good. So, with step 10, okay, we're doing the three time table. So, I'm going to say 10 multiplied by 3 is what? 30. Good. Okay, so, then you go, you've got three matchsticks there. 9, 12, 15. Will you be able to go on for me? Good. Lovely, Christopher. Okay, so you should be done with these patterns now. In step 5, I don't know how many matchsticks I had there. Step 5, but we know our rule. If I know my rule, <coughs> I can determine how many matchsticks I need to use to complete my pattern. So we say 5 multiplied by 3 is going to be, oh Peter, 15. Good. Then I say I need to look at step 6. Now in step 6, Tyron, how many matchsticks did I use in step 6? Ma'am, 18. 18. And you've got a lovely step six there. I see you built it very well. Uh, it's important that they see the growing, the growing pattern in there. With the growing pattern, it's also about the numerical number that they're using. They need to identify what the rule is, that they are, what number they are going to use, so that they can know what they are going to add to the next pattern. We're going to look at those blocks now. In step one, I've got one block, okay? In step two, I've got three blocks. In step three, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six blocks. Step three, I've got six blocks. Now I need to determine what am I adding here? Okay, let's have a look here, okay? 
I need to, like I told you earlier, I like to connect the numbers. So I can either count it, okay, or I can work out the number pattern. So number patterns and geometric patterns actually go hand in hand. Because if I don't know how many numbers I'm adding to my next step, how am I going to complete my geometric pattern? So I need to see how many cubes I'm adding. So when I go from one to three, how many blocks did I add there? De Carlo? Two. Two blocks. Okay, that's fair. From step three to step six, how many blocks did I add there? Kylie? Three blocks. Good, my love. So I see here that every time I'm adding one to the number that I've added here. So what do you think the next block is going to be? Brian? Four. Good. So then I say six plus four is going to be, guys, all of you please answer. Ten. Ten. Okay. Now I want you to go and you need to build step five. Quickly do the calculation. I'm sure you know what it is. You just say ten added to five. You have to break up your blocks. Yes. Lovely, Nabil. That's beautiful. Okay. Beautiful, De Carlo. Good. Lovely. Lovely. Ah, it looks like stairs. It should look like stairs, guys. Then I'm going to have three. Okay. Then I'll have four. And then my last step, I'm going to have five lovely okay very good so the rule with this pattern was that who can tell me what the rule was with this pattern come come i don't see a lot of hands who can tell me what the rule was with the pattern yes so we added one to every oh yeah we added here first we had two Okay, that's where our pizza got her two from. That's fine. Then we had three. Then we added four. And then we added five. Okay, so we were adding one at the bottom. But we were adding it to the pattern. So that the pattern could grow. Okay, mental maths is very important. Le what learners learn now in primary school, they can always take it up to high school and also in their adulthood uh, where they can use it in their social lives.